for your victory? Oh my goodness. It was definitely, definitely an interesting day. It didn't start out very strong. 13 high jump. Um, and I was a bit concerned about, you know, my performance at the beginning. But every jump, you know, got a little better and better. Um, and on the last jump, I told myself, you know, I asked for a clap, but my placement on the runway, the crowd couldn't see me because of a tent. And so I told myself, create your own clap within and go for it. Go for it. And that's what I did. And I secured it on the last jump. Um, but. I'm happy to do so here in the Caribbean, for sure. What does this mean for you and for your country? Oh my goodness, well, there's only two of us here, so to secure a medal is huge, and to, for it to be gold is even bigger. Um, I'm coming off a Commonwealth silver medal, to, so to get a gold here in NACAC with a, a championship record is massive. You know, my country is, is small, but our passion is mighty, um, and I'm happy to be a representative of that. Of that. I, mean, I, can't, I can't be any more grateful. So you came in with high expectation? I did, I did, I did, and I was a little discouraged yesterday because I did long jump um, more for fun um, and I finished fourth just out of metal contention um, but I'm happy that you know I came back today and um, really showed like you know put my best foot forward and I'm thankful for that what's next for you for the rest of the season <laughs> I have four more competitions I'll go to uh, the Diamond League in Luzon next followed by two meets in uh, Italy, Rovereto and Padua, and then I'll end with the Diamond League Finals in Zurich. So I'm not done yet. Thank you so much. Okay.